Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Brian the Divine Healer here with you. Gotta do your reading. That's right. So if you're new, welcome. Sit down, relax. Grab your coffee. Let's get hot. My little subscribers, this is my Divine Squad. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. You guys are fantastic. Okay. So we're gonna do Aries Taurus. Starting the Zodiac all over again. So let me get a couple cards here. Let me shuffle them up. And we'll see what's going on with you guys' energy now. For the present moment, nothing of the past or the future. Those things might come out, but it is all for the now. Okay. Then I'll lay more cards out, tell you a story. That story will have your message. After that, you'll have your verdict, your outcome, your grand finale. So, sit back, relax. Watch the video the whole way through. 15 minutes might not be that torturous, but you know, the message might be in the title or the beginning or the middle or the end of the video. So stick around, watch the whole thing. Appreciate that. Aries Taurus. How y'all doing? You doing good? Ah, looks like you might be. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's going on. All right. Pick a card. Good. Here's your first one. Three of Cups. Mm. That could be Celebration. That could be Third Party. Let's find out. Oh, I have another deck over here too in case I need to do a little clarifying. Which normally I don't, but I've had some fun with it, so why not? Nine of Swords. That's worry, that's anxiety, that's stress. Uh, looks like you're stressing over a third party situation. It doesn't have to be romance. It could be interference with job, family, even a relationship. So let's get to the first card of your story and see what's going on with this anxiety you got going on. Seven of Cups. Huh. Seven of Cups is fantasy, illusions. So you're stressed over a third party situation that is just an illusion. It's not really anything worry, uh, worth to be worried about. This is kind of what I'm feeling. Let's see. Page of Wands. Page of Wands. Well, that's good news or someone talking good about you, but look at the way he's holding that wand. Look at the very top of that wand. If you can see it, let me fix my light. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if you can see that better now. Look at the top of that wand. Mm-hmm. Three of Cups. This is, you know, frisky business. Seven of Cups, Page of Wands. So, really here, you're stressing over third party. That's just an illusion about only, um, you know, one thing. It's not really um, solid. It's not a relationship. Well, it, it kind of, friendships, co-workerships, family ships, they're all relationships, right? But this one's about just one thing, right? And this is a, the passion part. It's basically a sexual thing. Seven of Swords. It's a fantasy because it's only that kind of an illusion that, you know, someone's involved with. Okay, because he's the Seven of Swords, he's looking at this page of wands. I mean, he's moving towards the page of wands, but his head's looking away from it. So you're not wanting to see the illusion with just this idea of you know this 
third party situation. So you're like, you're in it, but you're looking in a different direction. So to me, it's like you want to go away from it. But you're moving in it or you're towards it. You're still around it. Okay, so let's keep going. So what's supposed to happen? You're supposed to, you're supposed to be moving away from this. We have the world card there. That's destiny. That's fate. So you're supposed to be moving yourself away from any kind of third party situation that is creating illusions and only keeping you in this sexual energy, which you're you're in that energy, but your your fate is to move away because you're looking at fate. So you know you have to get out of it. find balance yep you definitely are being directed to go away from it and find balance find a little peace and harmony because that temperance card is right here with that nine of swords so you need to find the balance in your anxiety over this third party situation that's only really a fantasy about you know fantasies that's all it really is it's just playtime there's nothing solid here. Too many options as well with that Seven of Cups. You need to manifest some peace and harmony in your life to get over this anxiety, which means really trying to walk away from this third party scenario. You'll have victory and success once you do that. So you're definitely being guided to walk away from it. Be your justice so you can clear yourself from this as long as you stop staying or moving in the direction of this third party situation and you pull yourself from the situation and you don't look back You're not supposed to look back because when you do you'll manifest a little better balance with yourself a little more harmony and you'll have victory and success and this will be your justice clearing you of your anxieties worries and fantasies about this deal <laughs> kind of a weird reading but it's just what it is all right two cards you'll be hurt by this a little bit but forgive yourself three of swords page of cups forgive yourself for sticking in this third party longer than you should have but forgive yourself for being able to at least look away from this towards the future to see where you want to go which is really getting out of this okay so you're locked into something and when you finally move away from it you get your justice it's gonna hurt a little bit but forgive yourself we all we all go through things we, we fall down scrape our knees just get back up you'll be fine there it is four cups You're going to be a little disappointed. Maybe you're a little disappointed in yourself. You're not happy with the situation. Or, you know, you know. <sighs> yeah, you're definitely not happy with feeling the hurt. But it's okay. Forgive yourself. And that should be a lot better. You know, because you're being guided to do this. The moon card and the magician. A lot of majors out here. Okay, so the major O'Connors are... Are big events that are really the main part of the story so you have the temperance you have the magician you have the the justice card the moon card the world card so your fate and destiny is to find your balance and manifest justice because you're being guided okay so that's the story short and sweet right to the point Let's get to the outcome. The outcome is you'll have a whole new sense of feeling for yourself. Ace of Cups, brand new emotional start for yourself. Boom. Now you won't be so sad because you forgive yourself because you know you got to walk away from this. This is your fate. You're looking at the fate, but you're still stuck in this illusion third party um, situation.
There you go. Knight of Swords. That's taking action in your mind to fill your own cups. Fill yourself emotionally. Find your self-worth. This third party is not worth anything because it's obviously leaving you in a whole bunch of stress and anxiety and worry and that doesn't help anybody. Okay? It really doesn't. So, be the magician that you are. Manifest your own victory and success by getting yourself out of this. And when you do that, you're going to be a little hurt by it, but that justice is there so that's over and don't look back at that. Apologize to yourself because it was a little, you know, disappointing. You're not kind of happy with how everything turned out, but you're being guided to love yourself more, give yourself more worth, more credit, build your own emotions back up from this hurt and take that action in your mind. Okay, I'm going to pull one more card for the final, 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 final outcome. Knight of Cups. And you'll start taking. Once you start thinking about refilling your own cups, you start taking that. So the, you'll start seeing the progress with how you start to feel after you separate from this third party. Find your balance to restore your own hurt. Move forward by the guidance that you're being driven by, by the moon card. That's the divine because he's offering you, see the hand, the divine is offering you a new cup to fill for yourself. So start thinking about that and you'll start seeing the actions come uh, with your emotions. So with that being said, my friends, that has been your reading. I thank you for your time and your energy for coming out here. I hope you have a great weekend. It's Freaky Friday, so be careful out there. Be safe. When you go out in the world, um, tell everybody about my channel. Hit the like button, subscribe, become part of the Divine Family, and check out my other playlist. I have a bunch of other good stuff out there, so enjoy yourself. Definitely see you again. Peace and prayer, my friends.